Morning folks, um, on the agenda today, or the agenda, we have one Picton and one Wellington figure. Um, so I'm going to sort those out. Um, I've already put the blue on. wouldn't normally do this, but I had a load of blue. It was uh, I couldn't be bothered to put back in the bottle, so I thought, right, I'll give the undercoat to the horses, to the nags. So I'll now put the brown undercoat on the horse and try not to get too much on the blue. Um, and I shall do another coat of blue and a shading anyway. Um, but right, I'll get stuck in with those and uh, come back to you with some progress. Okay, so I've um, gone on leaps and bounds. I didn't mean to, but it just, uh, as it's British, it's just very easy. So we've got the horses uh, Marin Brown ink wash, uh, just on the legs and the nose and I've put the uh, black leather work on. Obviously it's a blue shabrack which has had um, three lots of shading, I'm not sure if it shows up. Um, the same with the other horse, yep. So just got the eyes and the metal work to do on the horse. Um, the riders have had the brown wash and uh, boots and a bicorn painted and I've just done the, the waistcoat for, oh, I'm not really showing, just uh, Put a, um, what's it, a sort of a, a rocky sand actually it's called, but a buff wash on the waistcoat of Picton. Um, right, so onwards and upwards, I think it's now time for um, coats um, and trousers etc on the two rider pickers. So I'll uh, get on with that. Right, finishing stages I think we're at nearly. Um, Breeches, coat, boots, so it's just flesh and then uh, the telescope and uh, scabbard. Yep, and little bits and pieces for Wellington and Picton. Um, it's the umbrella, flesh, and the top hat. I shall leave the top hat till I've based him. But yeah, very, very close to finishing stages. The horses are all done apart from the uh, metal work on the bits. Uh, but that's it, so I'll just crack on with those. Uh, I think next time I come back to you will be the um, finish stage or the varnishing stage. Right, there we go, all varnished up. Um, as you can see, uh, basic matte varnish. Put a couple of coats on that. Uh, probably got a little bit of blue I need to touch up. And uh, there's Picton figure, <laughs> similar. Um, not much of these, of course. British don't go in for all the flamboyancy that the French do, but uh, interesting to paint. Right, so next stage is dry brush, flock and tops. I'll get that done and come back for the final time. Right, there we go, all finitoed, all flocked up and tufted up and sorted and finished. So, yeah, well pleased with those. Pretty good, I think. They've turned out okay, the shading. I might have to touch a bit of the I'm just looking, might touch the cape up a bit. I've noticed it's just some of the varnish tends to pull. So it won't take me long just to do a bit of dry brush on there, I think. And then highlight that, yeah. It's not much, but it's enough for me to annoy me. Um, Picton, okay, no uh, no rub off on him. Um, yeah, so he's all done, all sorted with his brolly. Yeah, so there we go, all finitoed. Okay, I'll put some stills at the end. Uh, but uh, thanks a lot and uh, bye for now.